So another handy drill to gain self-awareness of your neutral spine is to perform what's called a quadruped rocking or quad rocking. So what Cash is going to do for me here, he's going to open up his leg shoulder width. From there, we're going to practice the rounding and arching of his low back. So we'll go ahead and arch all the way. That's going to be an anterior pelvic tilt. And let's go to the extreme of tucking your tail all the way under. That's going to be posterior pelvic tilt. And then in between those two ranges is going to be your neutral spine cache. Now from there, I want you to practice maintaining this neutral spine while rocking back. And basically what's going to happen is the pull of his hamstrings and his glutes are going to make his back want to round out. So go ahead and show him. Which rounding out, pretty much creating a flexion moment at the spine, sets you up for a disc herniation if you have a load on your back. And through Stuart McGill's laboratory research, it's pretty much shown that. So we want to make sure if a load is on your back or you're holding it in front, that you maintain neutral spine to reduce the likelihood of, of injuring your back.